So um, another question that goes to meddling a little bit. Public employee retirements are at an all-time high, causing, in the minds of some, economic problems with community budgets. In some cases, maybe even the possibility of cuts to community services in order to fully fund the retirements. As retired law enforcement employees yourself, what are you going to do about that? I can get to go first. Well, that past question was posed to us by the Press Enterprise uh, reporter Alicia Robinson, and I think I answered it very eloquently. I won't take a salary on this term. I want to do what's right for you. I want to show leadership. I want to lead by example, and I want to show what can be done if we all work together. So I'm going to forego that salary because I want to demonstrate that I've got a decent pension. I don't need the extra money. Uh, my opponent, I believe, will have uh, will make two hundred and forty thousand dollars a year. I believe in retirement and. Council monies combined, that's, that's a lot. That's almost a quarter of a million dollars a year. So to me, it demonstrates leadership. It shows that I'm ready to put my money where my mouth is. I'm working hard so that I can do a job to serve for no pay. And when we talk about the monies that were talked about with Janet Gosky and all the people that were gonna be laid off with Measure A, you know, those were ideas that were set forth by the city manager. That city council was never gonna vote on those things to cut those. That was an inflated money. Uh, we, we had dollar and cents that came to about 20 to 30 million dollars for that six million dollar transfer. It wasn't truthful. I will be truthful. I'd like to lock you down on one thing, Mike. Are you going to walk forever for no pay? Is that it? Or is one term this year? Or what, what is it? Yeah. yeah, I'm asking. I'll take the time and I'll respond. No, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do on the next term or the next term after that when elected. I want to get through this election, and then we'll we'll work from there. But if it's right, Mike, you're saying it's right. Right not to take a, to be a public servant. Now I will tell you the difference. You're right. I have a very good pension, and I earned it. I spent almost 33 years working with the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. I got called out on homicides. I worked holidays. I worked evenings. I worked shift work, and I earned it. I didn't ask for anything I did not earn. And I will work hard for you. And it's like 39,800. 39, and if that's going to solve the pension problem, which is the question, then good luck. What's going to solve the pension problem is collective bargaining. It's like our houses. Our houses go up in equity, they go down in equity. And we have to adjust. And through the collective bargaining process, we will deal with the pension issues. Well, I think if different folks are coming forward in this time when people are hurting and they're out of jobs, I've spoken to hundreds of people out of work in Riverside, they're looking for businesses, that's why I want to be economically stable with our city. You know, when they come forward and they say, you know, we, we demand a raise and we want this and that, I'll, I'll remind them every time, I'm not getting a raise, I'm not taking any money. So, you know, I can't tell you what I'm going to do in the future, but I can tell you what I'm going to do in this term. And I'm not going to accept a salary, I stand by it, it's in public, it's been in the paper, here we are. So I think that shows some bold leadership. I don't know what else I can do to say otherwise, but I will not take the salary on this term. 